these days it's kind of hard for small town businesses and to have someone just walk in and say here do what you need to do it's it's like a dream the dream is becoming real in Searcy. 24 hours after the town learned it had won a half million dollar makeover, one of its longest running businesses is still celebrating. Tyler Thomason joins us now after stopping by a drugstore that has seen quite a bit, but nothing like this. Ashley, yeah, this isn't just any drugstore. It's Stott's Drugstore, established in 1928. Nearly 100 years later, the town it's grown up in now has a boost and the potential for some more growing up to do. The hum of an old school ice box mixed with the rattle of glass bottles <laughs> used to be the prescription for every drugstore visit. Oh, I think it's at least 70 or 80 years old. Nostalgia greets you inside Stott's drugstore. The downtown Searcy staple has been in business for 91 years. It was opened by my grandfather. Nancy Showalter is a third generation owner and pharmacist. I'm dealing with customers that their grandparents dealt with my grandparents. Your antibiotic is one a day. There are three pills in there. So Showalter says the biggest difference she's noticed downtown is retail getting replaced. Now there are a lot more offices and government businesses. These days it's kind of hard for small town businesses. That struggle might have just gotten a shot in the arm after Cersei learned Tuesday it had won a $500,000 makeover as part of a reality TV show. I was just so excited. The sky's the limit and people like Showalter can't wait to see what's next. For the in-town economy, word of a half million dollar investment seems to be as refreshing as a one dollar soda. Now the reality show is called Main Street Makeover. It airs on Hulu. I'm told the show will pick local businesses to spruce up. Showalter does plan to apply to be one of those lucky businesses. Guys, back to you.